Caitlin, Caitlin, it's time to start. A minute, a minute, Artin. We gotta start our episodes. I, hang on, I'm almost gonna win here. Oh. All right, let's go. I am so distracted, because I am down here at Code Ninjas in Martaloop, and we are gonna talk to the kids, the actual coders. These kids are creating games, games like I'm playing here, literally created by the kids here. So let's go in and go find out what projects they're working on, come on. Hi, what's your name? Kian. Kian, how old are you? I'm 10 and I've been here for four years. Four years? What, what belt are you? Um, yellow belt, but I had to restart white belt because there's a new thing called impact. What, what, what's impact? It's like scratch, but a little bit better and harder. It, and I used to do something like Code Ninja's Dojo, which is right here. Okay. It's like you have to make belts, but you have to code it. Oh, cool. But now I'm working on impact and it's much funner. What, so what makes it more fun? Well, using the blocks and you can make it whatever you want, basically. You can change the characters and it's super fun. So you're making a game yeah. right now? Yeah. And your game is called? Well, I've made a lot of games. Well, what about the one you're working on right now? Which Do you have a name for it? Well, the computer chooses the name unless you make it your own. Oh, okay. So. Where do you come up with the ideas for your games? Well, I just look at the other games. Like, for example, I was looking at a Mario game that somebody coded. So I created one similar to that, which was about a pizza. About a pizza? Yeah. And it needs to jump over stuff and go through portals and face enemies. And it's super fun and cool. I love that. What, what is the pizza's enemy? A mushroom. A mushroom. An angry mushroom? Yeah. That is amazing. And you created the entire project. Can you show me? That's the code. And these are the three evil mushrooms. So what I'm looking at right now is code. Yeah. And you wrote that. Yeah. And then what does it look like when you play it? Well, it looks like this. So let's start. Let's meet two of them. Thank you. That was a portal. Yeah. Oh, and you've got to jump. This is awesome. And then you like go in lava. In lava? It doesn't melt your cheese? No, the lava's completely safe, but it gets you in a dead end. It gets you in a dead end. Oh. There's the lava. I see it. And then the mushroom right here. Here, here comes the evil mushroom. Well, first, it's the hardest part for me. There's lasers, too. Oh, my goodness. And you built lasers into it. This is amazing. But the mushrooms are super hard, and the jumping part was hard. So you built it hard on purpose? Well, no, the code was hard to do. Oh, the code was hard to do. So do you have instructors that help you? Yeah. They're very good instructors. And what happens if you hit the mushroom? Well, you die. What happens when you die? Show me. Well, it says game over. <gasps> oh, womp womp. And then you have to jump off a cliff at the end. You do? Yeah. I like that. There's thousands of cliffs. That's amazing. And so you chose where all of these elements were in the game. Yeah. This is incredible. So is this what you want to do for like a job? Mm, no. No? Just for fun? Yeah. What made you get into gaming? Like, wow. crea like creating code? Uh, I actually forgot. It was like 40 years ago. <laughs> it was like four years ago. That's a long time. <laughs> I get that. This is amazing. I love it. And what's the next project? Is this one done? But this one wasn't like a project recommended from like, it doesn't give you instructions. This one I just made up by using the own code that um, I learned from other levels. Okay. So you created this from absolutely nothing just because you learned how to do a code, you were able to create this whole game from your imagination. Yeah. You're pretty awesome. Thanks. So you said you're 10 years old. Yeah. What grade are you in? Four. Grade four. What's your favorite subject in school? I like sport and I'm very good at art. I, I can see that because you actually use art probably to design some of this. Yeah. 
Well, I can show you the pixel art. I need. Oh, you? Okay, yeah, I want to see pixel art. Let's let's see it. It's so, the tile map. That's the tile. So you actually mapped that whole thing out. That's your entire game. Yeah, and little walls. It only use a little bit of space. That's incredible. So you decide the whole maze and how people need to move around in the game. Yeah. Incredible. So your art comes in handy for this. Yeah, I guess so. I like that. Excellent work.